Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Safaya Kelly. For those of you who've never seen me before, hey, what's up? Thank you so much for joining and for all of my returning subscribers. Hey, 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 what's up sis? Listen, I don't know if I'm the only one who's feeling just like a little bit left out of the loop. Like this thing came about and I was like, what? When did they decide what is the story? Like, I'm not really sure. And if you don't have Disney Plus, then you definitely might be a little bit out of the loop. So, I'm not sure if you guys know about the brand new mini TV series that Disney Plus is doing. I mean, obviously, it's through Marvel. So, we have WandaVision, and my friends at Ulta were so kind enough to send me um, some of the collection from WandaVision. They collabed with Ulta Beauty, and I am so happy to receive this and share some of the goodies with you guys. <sighs> I'm not even gonna lie, I don't really know what WandaVision is about. Is it a new su superhero? Does anyone. Anyone know? I gotta, I think we're gonna have to look this up. Uh, okay, so we found a little bit of information here. So this is set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It shares the continuity with the films of the franchise. Um, this is, you know, the Marvel comics and such. Um, it takes place after the events in the film Avengers Endgame that came out in 2019. WandaVision is well, we know WandaVision is produced by Marvel Studios. So I found some information about like what WandaVision is about. So basically, three weeks after the events that happened in Avengers Endgame, Wanda and Vision are living in an idyllic suburban life in the town of Westview, New Jersey, trying to conceal their true natures as they begin to enter new decades and encounter television tropes. The couple suspects that things are not as they seem. So let us dive into the collection. I want to start off with the eyeshadows. You can get the eyeshadow palette vault. Now there are three mini eyeshadow palettes. The first palette is the 50s and 60s palette and this consists of cool toned matte shades. Then we have the 70s palette, and this features bronze shimmers and a pop of purple. And last but not least, we have the 80s, baby. Um, this is gonna feature fun, vibrant tones in blues with pops of pink and silver. So that is it for the palette. We also did get a jelly lip gloss and lip balm set. Our first set is gonna be clear, so there's gonna be no color to this whatsoever. And then our second set is gonna be that like kind of dusty, rosy shade. So I didn't swatch these things because because I have so many like dupes of these shades and I'm not trying to be a pack rat. So these are things that I'm definitely gonna be adding into some giveaways. So don't be mad that I didn't swatch them. It happened for a reason, okay? I'm giving them away, I'm giving them away. This collection also includes a kit of gel eyeliners. We do have pink that is in the shade Haywire. The light purple is called Distortion. The light blue shade is called Static. And last but not least, we have the black eyeliner in the shade Frequency. So I'll be honest, I took the liberty of swatching these eyeliners because you know, I was like, hey, these are fun colors. I could definitely, definitely use these in my collection. And you know what, I'm gonna say, I'm. A, I'm a bit disappointed with the color payoff here. I was expecting like more of a pow in your face, like bold pigment. Um, I had to really, really rub these pencils on um, to get sort of something. The only two colors that I would say like really showed up were the light blue and the black. And then I went ahead and swiped my finger across just to see it stay power. And they're very creamy, therefore, I smudged all the colors. That is that. I'm gonna go ahead and get like an eye look together. I'm only gonna be using one palette because I do want to gift the other two. So wish me luck. <laughs> all right, peeps. I know I am back with another blue eyeshadow look. What can I say? Blue has just been a common color in palettes these days, and. I see it and I'm just kind of drawn to it. So we're gonna get into this. I decided to go with like a blue smoky eye. There's only one matte shade in this palette and it's pink. So this is the route I decided to go. And um, yeah, let's get, let's get into it. For this look, I did start off with a black base. Now you could technically use this gel eyeliner to fill in your lid for the black base, but I just feel like that would be really time consuming. I decided to take the KVD Super Brow Pomade in the shade Graphite, so I'm technically using it as like a gel 
liner you know and I'm gonna use that as my base so you do want to work quickly when using this product because it will dry down but I love using a fluffy brush because it kind of just diffuses my harsh lines and applies at the same time once I have less product I am just gonna feather this out a little bit so I'm going for that like kind of cat like drawn out eyeshadow shape so Boom. Now I'm gonna apply this right underneath my lash line. So the first shade I'm taking is Hypnotic. Hypnotic is this gorgeous navy blue metallic shade. Ooh! I will say I'm really happy with the color payoff that we're getting. I feel like this is a pretty like 80s kind of look, right? Could you see this in like a pop rock music video? Cause I mean, come on, right? I feel like it could work. I'm also applying Hypnotic on the lower lash line right on top of that black base we had put down. Oh, we're looking very blue, very dark, very smoky. I'm going to be taking the shade Allure. So Allure is this lighter blue, like a light ocean blue that we have going on. Or maybe like a light sky blue. I'm placing this right in the center and I'm bringing it all the way to the top. And I'm just like blending out, feathering out the sides so that we have like a seamless transition right in the middle. Ooh, honey! That's nice, that's really nice. And I have not used any water to help these metallic shades pop. They are just popping on their own, honey. They are popping. So now I'm taking the shade Wicked. I'm gonna place Wicked right in the center of our halo, kind of like spotlight eye. And we are just gonna blend that in. Wicked is a white metallic shade, and that really just gives more dimension to this look. So I'm dipping my brush into Wicked and Allure, and we're gonna pop this right in the inner corner because, you know, inner corner highlight for the win, right? We're taking the gel liner that I had some trouble with earlier when I was doing swatches on the back of my hand. So this is in the shade Static. Now, gonna place this on my waterline and um, I don't know I feel like it it should show up more like I had to do two I had to do two rounds of the liner because I was having trouble for it to show up so that's what it did the first time I know it's a little underwhelming it is a little underwhelming I could have just used black but I really wanted to give it a chance and uh, we're here so Mm. Okay, you guys, so this is pretty much it for the eye look today. I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara and lashes off camera. The lashes I am using today are the Velour lashes. Oh, they're so pretty. Hi. And this is in the style Flawless. So I'm gonna do these things and, you know, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here is the completed look. She looks cute. I think this is like, you know, fitting for like 80s, sort of, right? Like, I went ahead and did some like blush and highlight off camera. Um, I didn't change my lips because, I don't know, I just was like, you know what, this is cute. I'm feeling this right now. Does that make me lazy? Man, I think it looks good. Like, it's got like a very subtle pink tint. Like, so, so, so subtle. Like, you almost don't notice it. The palette that I used today was the 80s and 90s palette that had like the rich blues, a pop of pink, some silvers and grays. So I enjoyed using this palette today. The pigmentation was there, the blendability was there. I'm not sure how many different looks you can get using just this palette, especially for someone like me. Like I prefer having like more mattes and like more wearable mattes. There was just this really like Barbie pink matte and uh, that was the only matte shade in the palette. So hence the blue smoky eye on my lids right now so i would say maybe if there were different mattes it could be more of a versatile palette but it does stay true to that 80s and 90s color palette that we have going on there i will say the gel liners in this collection i wish they performed just a little better you know like they were kind of underwhelming for me i was excited at first because the packaging i was like oh my god if these eyeliners are just like this i'm gonna be in heaven i'm gonna be in heaven but you know they just kind of underperformed for me oh my god you guys i completely forgot how can i forget this this collection also includes body glitters I just 
I'm so, well, you know, better late than never. So I went ahead and did a little bit of a swatch on the back of my hand for you guys, the two shades that we have here. So these glitters are in like a rollerball consistency. And I guess that's cool, you know, like that works. The two shades that we have here are Technical Difficulties, which is like the blue shade. And then the pink shade is called Please Stand By. I think that is so cute. Everything deals with like technology. Dare I say it, we are at the end of the video. That is it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I know today was kind of like... It's not really a review, I'm just like playing in makeup, giving you my thoughts here and there, like what I think about the products, how they... So it's a review? It's like a laid back, not fully in-depth review, if that even makes sense. If you can make sense of what happened today, congratulations. Thank you so much for joining. Feel free to go ahead and give this a thumbs up and drop some comments down below. Did you even know about WandaVision? Have you seen the show yet? I have yet to see it. I think my mom and I are going to try and watch it. Um or my boyfriend, or the three of us, who knows? And let me know if you guys are interested in getting your hands on this collection, or if you already have it, let me know if you like it. If you're not yet part of the family, it is ever growing, I'm going to invite you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. And while I have your attention, don't forget to click that bell button so that you're notified every single time I upload a new video. You know, it's just been consistent these days. Be sure that you guys go ahead and check Check out my Instagram if you have not done so already, if you're not following me on Instagram. I've linked all of my other social medias down below in the description box. But that is all for now. I had a blast with you guys today and I'll see you beautiful and amazing people in the next video. <laughs> Bye you guys.